Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. I'm here with my Sensi empties for about the past month or so. It was just a little bit over a month since I did my last, so this is what I've accumulated in them just a little bit over a month. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the non-wax items first. We have some laundry liquid in jammy time. Love jammy time, it's one of our favorites. Uh, this and fluffy fleece I think are our favorites. So this was just kind of left over. We had the scent soft as well, and then the washer whiffs and the dryer discs as well, but we used those up first and we had just a little bit of the laundry liquid left over. So we finished that up and it was really good. Love it, it smells so good, especially on your bedding. Love that. And then another thing in the laundry we finished up is washer whiffs in Fiji flower. So this is really popular. A lot of people love this one, and this came out in the spring and summer catalog, so a lot of people were excited about it. So of course we had to try it out and see what all the uh, fuss was about. So it was good, we did really like it. It's just a good, um, it's fresh, it's a little florally. It's, it's like a summer floral kind of. Yeah, it is like a summer tropical kind of a floral a little bit. Really nice, it's pretty. So when we first started using this, it was good. Uh, I could smell it on our clothes, I could smell it on our laundry, everything, the the sheets, I mean. Sheets, towels, and then as well as their clothes. It seems like though, the more I used it, the more I started not being able to smell it as much. I'm not sure why that is. Like, towards the last part of it, I just, I wasn't smelling it as much, even on my clothes as I was when I first started using it. And lots of people said they, this is so strong, like on your clothes. You can totally smell it. I don't know, at first I did, but then towards the end I wasn't smelling it as much. I don't know if I just got used to it, so I wasn't, I just wasn't smelling it as much as I was because I got so used to it, as I was previously when I first started using it, I smelled it. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it was nice. I don't know if I loved it quite as much as everybody else loves it, because I just, like I said, at first it was good, and then I just, it seemed to, I couldn't smell it as much, the second part of this. And then um, I still had, actually I think, we just finished this up. I think we have uh, some laundry liquid left. We didn't get the scent off because they quit making that. They didn't bring it out in the scent off because they quit making the scent off by the time this came out in this spring and summer catalog. But we had the uh, washer whiffs, or the dryer disc, and then the uh, laundry liquid. We have just a little bit of the laundry liquid left. But uh, yeah, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is Jamie Time and Fluffy Fleece. So I just opened up some more of our Fluffy Fleece because we had Fluffy Fleece uh, that we haven't used yet, so I just opened up some more of that. I had to wash our comforter, so because our cat Peanut decided she was going to puke on the comforter this morning, so uh, I had to wash it. But I love fluffy fleece for the bedding, especially. Sorry if you can see in the background. I just noticed that our fan is up there on the computer desk there because I have the our robot vacuum going, and if I have that down on the floor, it goes up on it and gets stuck. It just makes all kinds of, it just keeps going and keep going and you have to pull it off of it. So I put it up there while it's going. I actually turned it off though because it's too loud while I'm doing the video. So I turned it off, it's right here. I hit pause on it and then I'll finish it when I'm done with this video. I forgot to put the fan down. So in case you're wondering why that fan is on top of the table behind me. All right, now let's see what else. Oh, counter clean. Vanilla mint. This was really good. Use this up. This is last, these counter cleans last for quite a while. I, they last two to three months for us. I mean, we use it in the kitchen pretty much. I know you can do all kinds of different things with them. I've never tried it on anything else yet besides like just the kitchen counters. Um, but yeah, it lasts for just the kitchen counters. It lasts two, three months for us. This is really good. This was a nice winter mint type of scent. Really good, got that little bit of vanilla in there with that mint. Really nice, I like that. And I would get that again. And we have some soaps here. We have Just Breathe in the hand soap really good love this it's eucalyptus and mint so good a little bit of lemon in there too love that uh pineapple dragon fruit this is from the new uh sunshine state of mind collection for the summer really good this is really good so good you get that uh, both the pineapple and that dragon fruit really juicy summery fruity smell really good really strong too um had two of those and then we have two of Coconut daiquiri we went through. 
This is good too. This is just um, coconut and I think there's pineapple on there too, I believe. What does it say? Coconut milk. Oh no, coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream. So I don't know if, I mean, I got a little bit of banana. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, the coconut banana. I thought there were, I thought there was pineapple in here, maybe not. But uh, it's just like a coconut daiquiri. It smells like that tropical coconut and banana and I guess not pineapple, <laughs> vanilla it says. But uh, yeah, it's good. Not quite as strong as the pineapple dragon fruit, but it was still good. This pineapple dragon fruit is really, really good and strong. So is the Just Breathe. Okay, and then we have some, we have a, let's see, some scent circles. Just Breathe in the scent circle, that's good. Just like the hand soap, it's got the eucalyptus, lemon, and medley of mints. I have it written on the back here. It's good. This lasts for, I think, like a week or so. The scent circles don't last sometimes they last like a day to two days sometimes they last a week to sometimes even two weeks so you just never know it's kind of hit and miss with these scent circles that one i think lasted almost a week maybe uh then we have dumbo circus parade i think i got this in a flash cell this is good uh let's see sweet clementine creamy peach fresh mango vanilla bean yeah it's really citrusy you really get that peach and that mango uh the clementine peach and mango you really get, but that vanilla, it makes it creamy. So it's like a real nice citrusy and then like the clementine citrus and all that stuff and then the other fruits, but then you get that vanilla mixed in there with it, kind of makes it creamy a little bit. Love this scent so much, I love it. Um, it was really good in the scent circle. It did, wasn't the longest lasting, I'd say, well, actually I think this did last like maybe almost a week too, which is, I feel like almost a week for scent circle is pretty good. Um, now when they only last like a day or two, that's not as good, but this one I think lingered almost to a week. Maybe it was like five days or so. But yeah, I thought I'd heard somebody say that theirs was almost unscented, but mine did pretty well. I was surprised. So, and, um, uh, Dumbo, Jumbo, Dumbo is a little bit of a, it's kind of a lighter fragrance, even though you can smell it, it kind of picks up the more it goes, kind of a scent to me. But yeah, I enjoyed it in the scent circle. I'll get that again. Then we have Squeeze the Day in the scent circle. It's pure lemons and a hint of vanilla cream. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's very lemony, citrus lemony, but then you get a little bit of vanilla in there, vanilla cream in there. And this one, uh, I think this one only lasts like three days maybe or so. This wasn't a super long lasting one on that one. Then we have a Travel Twist in Blue Grotto. So this is, uh, Fresh tropical notes, citrus, and lush botanicals. This is a really good uh, fruity summery scent. Very fruity, very good fresh fruity. Um, this is this I think is probably one of the strongest travel tips we've had. We use these for Brad's closet. It's the only place we've ever used them. I think I did try one in my car one time. I didn't think it did very well in the car, but it does really good in like a small closet. So we just sit it in there on one of the shelves in the closet, and it it did really good in there. I could really smell this in there. It's still in there right now, but I think it's, you can't smell much anymore, but it's been in there for like three weeks or so. So this lasted for a good, like, it might be longer. It might've been almost, I think it's been there almost a month. I think I got it pretty much right after I did my last empties. So um, I think two to three weeks or so, this lingered in there and I could smell really well. So this was pretty strong. It did really good. Uh, then we have a few pods here, quite a bit of pods. I'm just going to go through these real quick. Ocean air and coconut water. Coconut water, white driftwood, ocean air. Yes, this is good. Um, this, I think I have these going in my air purifier, my big air purifier in the bedroom. Uh, it did good when it was on high. When I had that air purifier on high, it was just filling the room. It was so, so good. But then when I would turn on low, when it wasn't blowing the air out as quite as strong, I couldn't smell it as well. I feel like the stronger the airflow goes through there, the better it is. So like your wall fan diffusers and your little Sensi Goes and your um, mini fan diffusers for the car and things like that, the fans on those aren't really, really strong. They're probably about like it is on a low on a wall or a air purifier. But if I feel like if they would make those fans just a little bit stronger, it would really blow that scent through there and it, you could smell just a little bit better. Because sometimes um, it, 
sometimes you can smell them better and sometimes you can't, but I feel like if those, they, they made those fans all a little bit stronger, kind of like it is when it's on high in the air purifier, I think it would, they would all perform even better than they already do. Because sometimes some of them are a little hit and miss sometimes at times, but I feel, I wish there was a way they could make those fans just a little bit more powerful. Like, like it is on high in the air purifier. That, I mean, that's really high on the air purifier. It's like really loud and high. But yeah, I mean, you can smell it really good when it's on high. Okay, now squeeze the day. This one I think I had in my car. It, this did really good. Actually, I have another one in my car right now. Like, uh, pure lemons, vanilla cream, just like this scent circle. Did really good. This one's a really strong scent, so it performs really good. Mahalo Coconut is floral Hawaiian lei, violet, pineapple, and coconut. So it's a floral with some coconut, basically. Um, more floral than coconut to me. But it's really pretty, though. Really pretty scent. Um, this did pretty good in my car. I brought it in and finish, I'm finishing it in my wall fan diffuser in the bathroom. Um, it wasn't real, real strong, but I could smell it. was a light, kind of a light scent, but it, I could smell it and it did well. And then we have sunkissed citrus, oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. So yeah, it's just a citrusy and then just citrus. So all those citrus scents blended together. I like the scent. I can still smell it. It's weird because sometimes you can still, you can usually still smell them in the pods, but then they just stop, the scent just keeps, when you have the fan on them, you just can't smell it anymore. It won't throw out in the air, but you can still smell it when you put your nose up to it. Um, this one was okay, but it was really light. Like, I smelled it for like maybe the first day when I had it in my car in the pods, and then I couldn't smell it much after that, and then I brought it here and put it in my bathroom. I smelled it just a little bit. But this one was really light for some reason in the pod at least. Um, I think Brad had that because it was in one of the whiff box Brad got and I, I don't think I had it. He had it down in a salon but I don't remember how it did because I don't always go in a salon. So I don't think I've melted that in our in our house. I think he just had it in the salon. salon. Bonfire Beach. Toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty sea air, ocean spray, yes to all that. It's just a summary. You get a little bit of wooziness, that flint is really good in there. Kind of like a fireside, a little bit. It's not real smoky though. But then ocean spray, you kind of get a little bit of all that. A little bit of ocean spray, the marshmallow, toasted marshmallow. Salty sea air, it's very summery, very beachy. Campfirey, marshmallowy, so good. Yeah, this one did good. I had it in my car, I believe. Yes, I did have that in my car and it was good. Another ocean air and coconut water. Um, I think I had, I think I just had this one in the bathroom. Yeah, I did this one in the, actually I think it's, no, I took it out. But I don't know what I did with the pods. Sometimes I keep them, sometimes I throw them away. Um, this one in my wall fan diffuser in the master bath was, it was really light. I think the best luck I've had with this ocean air and coconut water in the pods was when I had it in my air diffuser on high. Not on low, on high, because when I turned it to low, like I said, I couldn't smell well. But when it was on high, I could really smell it, for that scent anyway. Uh, tangerine and sugar cane. This was light too. Ruby, grapefruit, tangerine, and sugar cane. So yeah, it's, you definitely get the tangerine and then the grapefruit mixed in with it. But then a little bit of sugar. Um, the wax I had in this did one bar, did light, was light for me, and the next bar did well. Then the pods, um, it did good for like, I think a day or so, maybe a day or two, and then it got light, like almost gone after a couple days. So it was okay for a few days, but I wish it would have done better after that. And then another one here, I think I had this one in my car, then I think another one in the wall fan diffuser in the master bath. And it was the same as the ocean air coconut water that I did in the master bath. It was really light. I couldn't smell it for some reason. I've been having a little bit of iffy performance on my pods lately. I don't know why. Because there for a while, like I think it was last fall, I was having really good luck with my pods. They were all doing really well. And now, recently, they've been not doing as well for some reason. I feel like that kind of happens. Sometimes with the pods, it's just, you never know how they're gonna do. Sometimes they do really good, and then they just kind of, sometimes they don't. Another squeeze the day, this one does really good. I have this in my car right now again, like I said, it's really good. Love that one. So that's it for the pods, but I have a lot of more pods coming. A lot more pods coming, because I go through the pods quite a bit, because I have so many different, I use them in my car all the time. I have the wall fan diffuser, air purifier, and things like that. I don't always put them in my air purifiers, but 
I just go through them quite a bit. So I did, I just ordered a whole bunch in a party closeout. So stay tuned for that haul. Okay, so now the wax is what we have left. Got all this wax here. So I'm gonna try to go through it real quick here. Paradise Punch. Wild Indian Orange, Lemon Juice, Ice, uh, Icea Berries. Is that, I always forget how to pronounce that. Icea Berries, I think is how you say it. For some reason, I always forget how to say that. Asia, Asia, Icea, whichever. Berries and Starfruit. So, yeah, this is very, it is very similar to Fruit Punch. It's not spot on like Hawaiian Punch to me, but it's very close. It's, you definitely get the orange, lemon juice, berries, Star fruit, very berry, berry. It's very berry scent, and um, it is like a fruit punch, though. Very good. Um, this one did good. I think I mixed it with, uh, oh gosh, what's the other one I had? Rainbow sherbet. I mixed. I had this going in the kitchen. Rainbow sherbet going in the living room. Rainbow sherbet going in the living room. Mixed really well with that. So yeah, that was good. And this lingered for quite a few days. I think three to four days on that. It lingered. Then we have Rainbow Sherbert, since I was just speaking of that, I had that going together with that one, and it mixed really well together with that. So if you want a mixer, I had them in different warmers though. Different rooms actually, but the rooms are kind of close together. Orange Zest, Sugar Strawberry, Key Lime. Yes, that Key Lime mixed with that strawberry and that Orange Zest is so good. God, it's such a good blend, and this is so strong. If you want a strong scent, get this. It's so strong and good, and it lasts this one lasted just as well as the Paradise Punch. They both lasted close to four days, but this one's really, really strong. And the Paradise Punch was good too. Not quite as strong as the Rainbow Sugar though. Um, Sugar Blossom is next. This was new for spring and, or uh, yeah, spring and summer. Sugar Dipped Golden Blossoms, Sugared Citrus and Vanilla. So this to me is just a perfumey floral. They have it listed as bakery in the bakery, but it's not bakery. Everybody's talked about that. It's not bakery. It, unless they're thinking the vanilla is making a bakery, but it's just mostly a perfumey floral, maybe just a hint of like vanilla, a hint of a sweetness in there. It's pretty though, I like it. Um, it is okay, it lasts a couple of days. Yeah, it's nice. I'd maybe repurchase that again. Um, Starburst Sky, this was from the Valentine's Collection, Sweet Apple with Vanilla Cherry, or sorry, creamy coconut amber blossom. So yeah, this smells just like I've always said, and everybody says, sm similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, the perfume. Um, you get that coconut, you get the vanilla, a little bit of apple and amber. Yeah, it's good. It's got a little bit of a smokiness to it though. I have this in my club, well I had it in my club. And I decided to warm a bar of it. Was it this bar? Actually, I think it was another bar. I can't remember. We'll see if I have another bar in here. I might have gone through two. But I warmed it recently. Whether it's this bar or another bar in here, we'll see when I get to it. And it has that little bit of that smokiness to it that people talked about. A little bit like kind of like a cigarette smoke type of smell. The last time I'd warmed it, it happened like on the first day and then it went away and it smelled really good. This time, that cigarette smoke was super prominent and I just didn't like it as well. For some reason, I just didn't like it this last time. I put it in my club because I was thinking maybe I wanted to get that again before it went away. So I put it in my club, but now I'm like, no, I'm taking it out. I took it out of my club because I just, I couldn't with that smoky smell the last time. It just was so much the last time I melted. I smelled it the whole time. I, I warmed it, it had super strong on that cigarette smoke smell. So it's out of my club and I probably wouldn't repurchase it again because of that. Happy birthday to you. Uh, sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, vanilla extract. Yes, I love it. So good. It smells just like a birthday cake. Love it. Yeah, I love it. So good. So strong. It's in my club. Cherry vanilla. Also from Bring Back My Bar. Candy cherry, sugared almonds, white chocolate ice cream. This is just candied cherry. Um, it's a sweet cherry. The almonds, there's a little bit of an almond smell to it. Uh, the white chocolate ice cream, I don't really get that. I don't get any kind of ice cream or white chocolate or anything really. When I first warmed it, the other bar I warmed, I said it had kind of perfuminess to it for some reason when I warmed it in the kitchen. This time I didn't get a perfuminess to it. So I don't know what happened that first time when I got that perfumey note to it. This time I didn't get any kind of perfuminess. I just mostly got that sweet candy cherry, a little bit of almond, 
excuse me. Yeah, I have this going in my, uh, I finished this, I think I had two cubes left of this one. I did it in the hallway bath right behind me here. Uh, it struggled a little bit in that hallway bath, I don't know. For some reason, this little hallway bath right here struggles with some sense because it's, it's a super tiny little bathroom. It just has a toilet and a sink, really small. You think it would be super easy to scent that little room. There's no vaulted ceilings, super little. I have a mini warmer in there because I can't, I can't put a, a big warmer. There's no place to sit a big warmer in there. So I just have a mini warmer plugged in there. It's really hard to scent that. Sometimes I can't smell the scents at all in there. Two cubes and mini warmer, and I can't smell it all in that little bathroom. Sometimes I can smell them really well. Lately, for some reason, I can't smell them on the first day, but then like the second day, I start smelling it. That happened twice this past week. I couldn't smell it the first day I put it in there. The second day, I really could smell it. Just like yesterday, I put in glacier water from last year's uh, August scent of the month. Couldn't smell it yesterday. Today, I could smell it. Not, not sure what's going on there. Flower shop. Love this. It's in my club. Just like walking into a flower shop. Yes, it's so good. It's the stems. You get mostly the green stems, clippings of the flowers, and then just a little bit of a floral note. Just kind of a general floral, floralness to it. I love that one so much because I love greens. Harbor's Edge. This was from Bring Back My Bar. This past one. Beach grass, raspberry, oak fern, salty musk. Yeah, it's, it's a beachy scent. You get the raspberry, you get a little bit of that musky scent. Beach grass, yeah, fern, yeah. It was nice. It kind of reminded me a little bit of the, uh, I said in my warm reviews, it reminded me of, gosh, how, why can I not remember this? It's the, um, I love it. It's in my club and I always forget the name of it. How can I forget the name of it when I love it and it's in my club? It's the uh, frozen one. The one that has sage in it. Gee. Hold on. Fearless by nature. I had to go check. It was going to drive me crazy. I don't know why I can never remember the name of this scent. I love it. It's in my club. I love this. It's one of my favorite scents. But for some reason, I always forget the name of it. I remember it's frozen too, but I don't... I want to say when nature calls or something, but that's... That's that's another scent, I think. But yeah. Fearless by nature. Does This has that little bit of sage in there. Oh god, that's so good. This... There's a, something a little bit similar in there. It's not nearly as sagey as this is, but there's something, some kind of herbalness or something in there that kind of reminded me of this a little bit when warming, but this is way stronger. Fearless by Nature, almost forgot again. It goes right out of my head. For some reason, Fearless by Nature is so strong. This was okay at first, but then it died down pretty quick. Like after the, after six hours or so, it goes down and fades away pretty quick. So I wouldn't get that one again, but I will always get Fearless by Nature because it's in my club and I love it. Okay, next we have Strawberry Lemon Cake. This was uh, March, Sun of the Month. Fresh strawberries, lemon zest, vanilla buttercream. This is really nice. I mostly get the strawberries and the vanilla buttercream. You get a little bit of a cake note. I don't get lemon zest at all. I didn't really get lemon hardly at all. Um, but you do get a, just a touch of cake note but mostly the vanilla buttercream with the strawberries. Um, I feel like it could have had a little bit more cake note. This would be really good mixed with probably like sugar cookie or like um, even happy birthday. Ooh, I should try that because I think I have more of this left. I think I have at least one or two more bars um, so I can mix it with that happy birthday because that's happy birthdays in my club. That would probably be really good. Um, I don't, I have, I hardly ever club Son of the Months. For some reason, I never do because I always seem to have leftover bars because we usually get the the scent of the month kit every month. We don't always get the warmer, but um, we always get the bar almost every month. So we get eight bars of the scent of the month every month. So that's eight bars. So that's, that's like a brick. It's more than a brick because when you get a brick, a brick is five and a half bars. We get eight bars every month of the scent of the month. So that's a brick and then, you know, more, a couple bars more than that. So that's quite a bit that we get at the scent of the month. So I usually have like bars left over from each set of the month. So I never have to club it because I just have extras. Uh, unless it was one I absolutely, absolutely love, then maybe because sometimes I will go through more of them if I really, really love them. But so far I've never clubbed in set of the month. But um, I do think I have a couple more of those left over. But I don't think I would have clubbed it any anyway because I liked it but it wasn't absolute love. But it's really good. 
Okay, next up, Tropic Nectar. This was from the Spring and Summer catalog, new. Tropical Nectar, Coconut Milk, Golden Agave. So yeah, very fruity. Uh, you definitely get the tropical fruit. Maybe it's just a touch of coconut milk. Yeah, um, it's a little fruit punchy kind of. Yeah, it was good. I like it. It's nice. Um, yeah, it's not quite as good like as Rainbow Sherbet or even Paradise Punch. I think I like those two better than this, but it's nice. And it does pretty well. Uh, cucumber Lime. This is so good. This is in my club. I was wondering if I was going to keep it in my club, but then I warmed it and I'm like, yes, I'm keeping it in my club. That happens sometimes when you sometimes wonder if you're going to keep something in your club, just warm it and it'll, right then it'll remind you if you're going to keep it in your club or not. Just like Starburst Sky, I warmed it. That did not set well with me the last time, so I took it out of my club. This one, I warmed it. It's amazing. I'm keeping it in my club. God, it's so good. It's cucumber. For sure cucumber, but then you get the lime in there mixed with it. It says green leafy. Cucumbers, limes, green leafy mint. For sure the cucumbers. It's got that fresh cucumber, cucumber scent. And then lime. It's more cucumber than lime. It's very green. It's got a greenness to it, probably because of the cucumber, the fresh cucumber, uh, and then that lime. But then that green leafy mint, there's a touch of a mint, just a touch, but it's not like real minty or anything. It's more like a garden mint type of a mint. Really good. I had this going when our friends came over for dinner and she made like a little, like some kind of a, she had a salad that had like watermelon and cucumber and then she had like different mints in there some basil or something was it basil i different kind of mints uh, herbs she had in there this just went really well with the food we had going oh good yes yeah, so good love that one it's really strong and it lingers for a few days apricot vanilla peach apricot vanilla ice cream this is good it's i do get a blend of peach and apricot both and then a little bit of vanilla mixed with that it's got a creaminess to it wasn't real strong though. I struggled with smelling this one a little bit. I could smell it lightly, but it wasn't super strong. It didn't last real long. So yeah, I'm not sure if I would repurchase that or not because it um, didn't perform the best for me. Desert Rock and Citron from the Father's Day collection. Fresh water, lemon, mint leaf splashes over a warm desert rock. This is really good. I really like this. I warmed this. I had this for Father's Day and then I got another bar and uh, I warmed it downstairs and it was doing really well down there. I really enjoy this scent. It's very fresh. It's a fresh, watery kind of a, kind of like a men's, not really cologne, but like more like a body wash or like a body care, body wash kind of a scent. Maybe even soap a little bit, but it's like a fresh water type of smell. But then you do get a little bit of that rock in there. It's got that little bit of a rock smell, earthy rock kind of smell. Yeah, I really like this, and I would, I would get that again. I like it. And then we have, oh God, I love this one so much. Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. I love this so much, and I warmed it again when I got my last club. Do You saw that I did a haul a week ago or so, and I had that in there, and I warmed it when I got it. I still have another bar, I think, for my last haul. Uh, or no, I got two bars in my, I got two bars in my club. So yeah, cause I didn't have any bars. I got two in my club. So I have, I warmed this one. I have one more left until my next club ships in September. Uh, yes, yeah, so good. God, that's so good. It's tangerine, kiwi fruit, cucumber blossom, whimsical musk and pixie dust. So for sure the tangerine and the kiwi fruit, um, a little bit of cucumber blossom. There could be a touch of a floral in there, but it's not real florally. It's just a little bit of that, but that, I think it's that musk in there with that little bit of floral and with that tangerine kiwi. It's just such a good blend. God, I love it so much and I can't get enough of it. It's, this is one of those, I just, I want more and more and more. I just can't get enough of it. I love it. And it's so strong. I heard some other people say it was not that strong for them. Mine is so strong for me. Like, I can't believe it. When I hear people say it's not strong, I'm like, wow, that's just crazy for me because mine does so good. Every time I've warmed it, love it. And it's just, when I'm smelling it, I just, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love with Sweet and Sassy. I, can't, I love it. Okay, Tahitian Twilight. This is the scent of the month for this month, July. Uh, I don't have the notes written down. Hold on, I think I have another one in here. Let's see. Yeah, I have another one. The notes are written on the back of this one. Coastal Waters, Passion Flower, Pineapple, and White Woods. This is really nice. Oh yeah, it's really good. 
So there's a little, there is, there's a floral, the passion flower I think is what I smell the most. Coastal waters, I mean there's a freshness to it, so I think that could be what adding the, the freshness could be from the coastal waters, because it's, it's a fresh floral, almost like a summery fresh floral type of scent. It says it's pineapple, um, I'm gonna get a lot of pineapple. If it is, it's just barely in there. White woods, I could maybe get some white woods. There's a little bit of a white wood smell in there. Woodsiness, just a little bit of a wood in there. But definitely mostly that fresh floral, a passion flower, florally, fresh florally type of scent. Really good. I had this going lastly in the um, our laundry room. Well, we don't have a laundry room. We have it in our it's in our hallway so they open the little sliding things and it's just right there with the washing dryer well in the plug-in behind the washing dryer we have a little mini warmer i put two cubes in there and when i would open the doors to do laundry god it smells so good i was like wow that's really really nice so yeah love that i had two bars of that i think there might be an, was there, yeah three bars because i made samples because this we always sent out samples for the scent of the month i had four <laughs> Well, I think I warmed some and then I did samples. Anyway, we do samples for some of the months. For, we usually do about 50 to 60 samples, so the last 50 or 60 people that ordered get samples. We would love to be able to send samples to everybody, but we have almost 200 customers now that have ordered from us in the last little bit over a year, so unfortunately we can't send that many samples out. It would take forever, and the postage would be crazy. So we send out about 60 samples, so we go through and see who ordered the last 60 people. Then you get an order. So if you ordered within the last, it used to be the last two months you would get a sample, but now we're getting so many new customers lately, it's probably like a month. Definitely for sure if you ordered in the last month, you'll get a sample for the seventh month. Month to month and a half or so. You'll for sure get the seventh month sample. So if you're a regular customer orders at least once a month, you're for sure gonna get a seventh month sample every month probably. All right, watermelon patch is next. This is bring back my bar. Sweet vine ripened watermelon. This was good. It's like everybody. I don't think I've heard one person. I don't think I've heard one person that hasn't said it smells like Jolly Rancher watermelon. I was thinking that the other day when I was watching YouTube videos. Everybody says Jolly Rancher watermelon. Everybody, I think, and it, that's what it is because that's what I said too, and it's exactly exactly like that, and it's really good. I like it as well then we have mango matcha mango nectar matcha sorbet salted cucumber and sugar cane it's really nice i love this the first time i warmed it when i first got it for the spring and summer in the uh we get them early we were able to purchase them early and i got it and i loved it excuse me this time for some reason i don't know why i didn't love it quite as much it was nice but i feel like the first time i got more of that that salted cucumber it had a little bit of like a herbal, like, I don't know, it was like the cucumber, but then it had almost like a, like a earthy, like an herbalness to it or like earthiness or something like that the first time I warned it, but I didn't really get that this last time. I just got mostly mango. Maybe, could maybe a little, like a sweet mango, maybe some of the matcha. I didn't really get the cucumber as much this time for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't love it quite as much the second time I warmed it, but... I loved it the first time anyway. I still like it though, it's good. And then, oh, we have one more pod. I, I missed this pod. Watermelon tangerine. Sweet watermelon slices, tangerine, and dewy greens. This is really good, can't smell it. Can't smell the pods in here when they're out there. And I don't know what I did, I must have threw the pods away. It's a good mixture of the watermelon tangerine. Dewy greens, I think there is just a little hint of dewy greens in there. That's probably why I like it because you know I love my greens. I love green scents so much. Bakery has always been my top, but greens is pushing up there. I don't even, what is, what are green scents classified as? Is that, aren't they under the fresh? I think they're under fresh category, pretty sure. Um, so yeah, but I, after bakery though, the green scents and herbal scents are really pushing their way up there to me. I just, I can't get enough of green scents anymore. And then lastly, speaking of green scents, we have Bring Back My Bar Fresh Cut Grass. This was sent to us from uh, Samantha. She sent this to us. Uh, like fresh, like freshly cut fairway on a cool summer morning. Nature. So, I mean, 
I don't know really know. It's just saying it's just like a fresh cut fairway, so it's just be fresh cut grass. Yeah, so on cold, she had just one cube left. So I just put it in our mini warmer in the bathroom back here that I said has trouble. So that could have been why I, I struggled to smell this a little bit. It could have been because it was just one cube in that room that for some reason struggles. Maybe I should have tried it in the bedroom. But yeah, it was nice. I feel like there's a, some reason there's a touch of a little bit of perfuminess to this green for some reason, to this green scent. I don't know why. Um, it was nice, but I feel like I wish I would have had more of it to like get a better assessment because it was a little bit on the lighter side, but what I could smell was nice, but I don't know. So far out of all the scents we've had from Scentsy that have been like fresh cut grass, Wally Classified is the closest that I've gotten besides this one that's like, you know, like fresh cut grass, but that one, I like Wally better than I like this, but I really wish I would have had more of it because I think maybe I could have like put it in the bedroom and got a better you know, assessment of what it smells like besides that one cube in that bathroom over here, which I struggles on scent. So that's probably why it was a little bit lighter and that I didn't get as much out of it as I could have. But uh, even on cold, I like Wally better on cold. And Wally to me is so much like fresh cut grass and I love it and it's really strong. Um, I hope they do bring this back sometime and another bring back on my bar or some collection so I can um, get a full bar and try it out in like my bedroom and see how it does. But this one was a little bit lighter and I, didn't like it quite as much as I like Wally. I love Wally. That's the closest Scentsy that I've had to fresh cut grass. There's been lots of other ones that have grass scents in them, but that is just like this is the closest to just pure fresh cut grass to me, and I love it. Okay, thank you, Samantha, for sending that to me too as well. Appreciate it. All right, that's it for empties for the past month. All right, so thanks for watching, and. Um, What's coming up next? We have a, I have a party closeout haul that's coming. Actually, I have it sitting back here on the table. Can you see the box right there? <laughs> sitting on the table. I have to unbox that and do a haul yet because we got it yesterday. And then um, we have, what else we have coming? I have um, the with box is coming. I'm supposed to get that Tuesday. So far, I have not seen anybody do any videos of it because I try to avoid them so I don't get, I don't want to have spoilers. So I want to be surprised when I get it. That's coming Tuesday. And then I have, um, a, I did a order from the um, clearance section because I have a whole bunch of new bars that are in the clearance section that were added to it, like um, the Christmas cactus and a bunch of different other ones and some pods and st stuff. So I ordered some bars and pods from the clearance section. So I'll be getting that one sometime this week as well. So stay tuned for those videos. They will be coming up probably later this week. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.